Hey, how's it going team? Hope you're having a great day. Brad Smith here with Automation Links. Just got done with a coaching session going over an automation funnel and how you should only have one setup. And if you're ambitious and always looking for the next thing, like I usually do, you probably have multiple things set up for your website, your social media, your emails, just because you're trying to help people and get find out what works best. But what I recommend is get one funnel down perfect because most likely none of your funnels or none of your uh, programs or systems that you have are perfected. They're probably all only half done. So set up one that's perfected. That's the main way to get new leads, build relationships with them and automatically follow up. And that's when you're really going to see true success. So in the coaching call, we went over just having the one automation funnel, uh, going, starting out, you need to have some sort of multiple choice form. So in that multiple choice form is asking them a couple questions, which makes them much more likely to commit. So in those questions, if you show empathy, show that you know what their problems are, uh, make it easy for them to check off those multiple choice questionnaires, they're much more likely to get into the next step. So that would be step one, uh, finding out what they're looking for, uh, showing what services that they might be interested in and getting their name, email, and phone number. Now in that multiple choice, as soon as they answer those first three questions, they're much more likely to finish filling out the form, which is key. Now, if you don't know this stat already, um, over 90% of contact forms never get responded back to. So when the customer goes to your contact page and they see a boring contact form, they're most likely not going to fill it out because they feel like you're not going to, they're not going to get responded to. Now you may be the owner that responds back to all of them, which great job on that, but most don't. So that's what is in the customer's head that, oh, if I fill this out, they probably won't get back to me anyways. So we need to change the looks, change the appearance and do different types of forms that make it more likely for them to fill them out. Number two we went over was having a scheduler. So sending them right to a scheduler that uh, is easy for them to fill out best day and time to fill it out for their schedule. We need this and you need this automatically sync set up with your uh, calendar, like a Google or Outlook calendar. So you don't double book. Another thing we went over, we went over was calling the person right on time. Have you ever had an appointment with a business? They called you five, 10 minutes later, apologize, gave you some excuse right there. You lose some uh, credibility or trust in them. If they called you right on the exact day and time that you scheduled, um, that would be instant respect. The phone call is going to go a lot easier. So when somebody schedules, uh, on your scheduler, be there right on time. And it's going to be so much easier for you to close the deal. Um, they're going to respect you and they're going to be open to hearing what you have to say. All right, number three is setting up a video, very specific for uh, what you're gonna go over in that call. So you, in the video, after they fill out the form, you need to be talking about what the call is gonna be about, that you understand what they're going through, uh, that you are gonna help them with any problems they may have, and then you're gonna find out if it's a good fit. Now, once they watch the video, they're much more likely to follow through and show up for that call. Uh, another thing we went over was the length of the call. 10 minutes to 15 minutes at max. That's a low commitment, but it's also a pre qualifier to see if they're actually really interested. If they don't show up, they weren't interested in the first place, but if you provide the right steps, the video, and also, um, telling them what you're going to talk about in the call, they're much more likely to actually show up in that call, be ready to schedule the next call. So the next call is going to get them to maybe a 30 minute call or face to face meeting. This is going to be where they actually are going to sign up. And then the last but not least is adding them to some sort of group so they continue seeing you. So now, um, not everyone's going to sign up the first day or this first call. So if you can add them to the group and they see that you're continuing to help people, they see that you're helping your current customers, potential customers and providing value. When you do get to that second call or when they're ready to sign up, they're going to turn to you because they see that you're very active and uh, you're continuing to help people. And you're also going to be top of mind. So when they're finally ready or have the funds, they're going to think you first because they see you on a consistent basis. So this is all part of my coaching program. I help people out with this on a daily basis. Uh, we go into more depth than just this, where I'll give you the exact tactics and programs to use to actually set this up. So just comment coach, if you're interested, or obviously send me a message and uh, I'd love to help you guys out. Um, so I want to encourage you guys until you get to about a million a year, just focus on the one funnel. That's all you need. Get that perfected. And that's when you're really going to see cold signups, people that have never heard of you 
turn into quality leads and actually sign up and work with you. Now stop thinking about as many leads as you can. It's not about quantity, it's about the quality. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it and I hope you have a great day.